Jessica. And this topic is kind of juicy because really um, it has to do with what you've been saying that you want and what you actually have and the disconnect. Yeah, that. So I've been as interesting as I looked into this year, I was like, huh, I've been applying for job opportunities and I hadn't gotten any. And I'm used to, you know, getting <laughs> whatever I want, <laughs> more or less. And I was like, huh, that's really interesting. So, um, and then I, I kept saying I wanted to own rental properties and I didn't have any actions on that. And I'm talking like seven or eight years I've had the desire to own rental properties. And so it was really interesting when I looked at like, okay, what's my reality versus what I've been asking for and what's the disconnect space? And what I discovered, um, of course, <laughs> in that space of owning my reality is that I had to ask myself, what don't I want about those things? And what, what do I not desire about owning my own home and owning rental properties and those kinds of things? And so yeah, right. <laughs> it's really interesting. So I took on the career first because that's the space where I have the most ease and grace and joy. And it's where I'm the most confident. And so I was actually able to discover uh, companies that needed my skill set. And as of uh, a few days ago, I'm like fully employed for the first time in a really long time as far as uh, clients and cash flow, everything being in balance where I desired it to be. Isn't that exciting? I know. I couldn't believe it when it all came through this past week. So I put everything in motion if we want to backdate. So I first updated my resume. I really love doing search engine optimization and I have a full-time thing doing that, but it was like not really using all of my capacity. And I was very curious if I could have it be even more that I could contribute. And I discovered that I could, and it's now all coming. Um, one of the tools I used was a whole course called Rich As F by Glenice Hughes, really phenomenal. And then oddly, <laughs> a book by a woman, same title, Rich As F, um, Amanda Francis, two different people uh, contributing to my success right now. Well, of course, lots more people contributed to my success, but those two pieces of like work, bodies of work contributed to the shift that I was able to make. And then um, now we're going to look at like the rental property scenario. Well, I had sort of forgotten <laughs> that I have a rental property because uh, through a bunch of complicated scenarios of which I was sort of sleeping through, um, it became negative, cash flow negative. So um, that is all shifting now. And in June, that will be off the books. And I have new properties coming in on the books. And the action that I took initially on that was to change my credit rating. So to alter my credit rating. So far, I've gotten it up 100 points since I started in January. So it's almost May. <laughs> it hasn't been that easy to change that. But I just keep saying I will and I know I will. And then I ask for opportunities to have that happen. So this is kind of an odd energy clearing session. But I wanted to share with you like, what I'd been saying I desired and then what I was actually experiencing and look at like, how did I really desire it? Because if I've been saying I wanted it for a long time, but I'm not taking actions towards it, it's not actualizing that I'm actually stopping it because if at some level I desire it, but I'm not having it, then there's something in the middle that's either crooked, messed up, crazy, or just I mean, really the best way to say it is effed up. Like there's something effed up about it if it's not showing up the way I've been sort of picturing it. So what I needed to do was lose some of the crazy. And it turns out I have a whole bunch of debt that I'd sort of forgotten about, which is awful, 
projects I didn't finish, money I owed to people. And I had to really just start saying yes to clearing whatever all of that messy stuff is. And you can sort of feel even the dark little tinglings and palpitations of basically sleeping through my life. <laughs> there was a point, I can actually remember it. It's when I got pregnant and I, I was only pregnant once uh, that carried to term because I had a bunch of other things that weren't, that didn't go to term. And then I had um, two adoptions. So I have three children, but I was pregnant once. So there was a point at which when I was pregnant that I just said, like, forget about credit. I know this sounds ridiculous, but it, I, something clicked in me when I was like pregnant. My hormones were really weird. And I just said, you know what? I was married to someone who had no control over that. And I just went, I don't care. Like, I'm just focusing on the baby. I'm not going to focus on, cause I'd been trying to keep my credit clean my whole life. And I just like gave up, like I just let it all go. And this was in 2003. She's getting ready to go to college now. <laughs> it's 2021. Can you believe it? It's 18 years later. And I'm ready to have a really good credit rating. Like I'm ready to shift all of that. I'm ready to have a career that I love. I do have a career that I love and I'm ready to you know, embrace my financial future in a way that's contributive, that contributes to the kids, that contributes to her college, that contributes to my family. And it's taken me like a whole generation of crazy to not be crazy. And so today's meditation is going to be, <laughs> I think I'm going to do a credit lifting meditation. <laughs> So I'm not sure who this will apply to because you may be like, Erica, I don't come to you for that, but that's all right. I'm still going to do it because what the heck, that's what's showing up for me to do. So if you would like to raise your credit score, we're going to do it with an energetic meditation. I know it's so crazy, but everything starts with that. So first of all, just kind of get comfortable, put your feet firmly on the ground. <sighs> Feel the earth energy come up through the balls of your feet. Mm. Connect to the heavens and celestial. Mm. And take your credit score, whatever that is, and put it out in front of you about a foot. And if you don't know what it is, you can go to experian.com, creditkarma.com. Those are two of them that you can just get. Um, my bank, like Chase, has a one that credit wise. So any of those places will give you a free glimpse into what your credit score is. Okay. So if it's less than 800, you're going to hear a human, <laughs> but if it's less than 500 or in the 400 to 600 range, then it's something that if you changed could potentially contribute to your future. Hmm. So it's really interesting because as I started working on this, I realized I'd sort of been off the grid. And so now I want to be on the grid. Is that what's happening? It's really interesting. So anyhow, we're just going to go back into zone, see how quickly it pulls us out of zone and just relax. Hmm. And just ask that the highest and best good come from this time that you're spending on this call. And thank you so much for listening. I'm going to go about seven more minutes, I believe. We'll see. It might go longer. I'm not sure. But let's go at least seven minutes. And so look at the energy in your feet. When you think about this, your feet are the place you connect to the earth. So this is where sort of manifestation happens, <laughs> where the rubber meets the road. <laughs> so go ahead and pull blue earth energy from the earth up into your body. And any place you've chosen to judge yourself or let the number of your credit score mean anything as far as your value, like if it's higher, your higher value, if you're lower, lower value, uh, uh, let's just release anything like that. Anything that states that this is anything other than some obscure number that means, let's just like pull the judgment out of the number, pull the judgment out of the number. There you go. Very nice. And just be more solid with the number. Thank you. 
one thing I did is really interesting. I used a PO box for my address for years as my real address. And that actually <laughs> became weird to the credit numbers, right? So go ahead and just like pull blue th energy up to the balls of your feet, connect to celestial. And now just give the whole thing over to God and just say, huh, or universe or bigger than you or whatever forces could be of service to you and just say, hey, what number could this be? And just, just go out from you again and then see it now. Oh my goodness. It's really interesting. So I'm, I'm perceiving a lot of resistance and pushback to raising this number. So where has this number being low served to keep you from buying something you didn't want? Have you used this number to protect you from being Supergirl or <laughs> superwoman or super guy have you used a low number where has this number been used against you but you use that as a jailer to keep you locked in to some kind of reality that is less than yeah <sighs> wow and are you done with it or do you like having that number there and just keeping you down? Is that good? Is there, are there things that keeping that credit number low, does that serve you? Does that help you in some way, keep you from making, buying the wrong car, you know, putting payments on yourself that'll kick your ass? Is it some, has it served you? And now just say, thank you to whatever number that is and say, thank you number. Thank you for just being part of me. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your contributions. Thank you. Oh, that gratitude for that number. Be like, at least I exist. I remember I had a client one time and we were trying to get his credit number and he didn't have one. He wasn't from this country. He was from India. He had a great job. He made tons of money. He didn't, he wasn't even on the radar. He didn't even have a credit card. He had tons of money. He had gold in his country and he was in the United States working as an engineer and he didn't have a credit number. It was crazy. So there was like this whole set of things we had to do to make the credit number reflect the, a more fair representation of his financial well-being, which was phenomenal. So could you have a phenomenal financial well-being and could that credit number start changing so it's your best number for you, which I don't even know what that is, right? What number for you works around the highest possible is 800, more or less. I think there's maybe one person in a million has more than that. And then normal could be somewhere between 680 and 750. And when I say normal, I mean good. Like, <laughs> and I'm not judging like as far as good, I mean, as far as what the credit reports say so just take that whole credit thing now take the whole thing throw it down into the center of the earth the whole body of evidence of that work and just let it all go and now bring it back in and just look at that and then let, pretend it's like a thermometer and put your number that would be really cool for you to have as a hundred and then just see where it is on one to 100. Where are you now? Not the actual number, but where you are in proportion to your to what could potentially be your best number, which I have no idea what that is for you. So go ahead and just picture that. And now um, I'm getting about a 65, like I'm at about 65% of 100 of where I could be given all of my parameters, my personal thing. So now just look at that number not your credit number, but the proportion of, it's like a thermometer exercise and you're just seeing it like around what degrees towards a hundred, your whole credit thing is. Okay, it might be a 30. Like this may be something you don't even give a flying potato about, or you may have huge resistance to, you may hate even looking at it. 
You know, I can't have good credit. I have fucked up too much in my life. <laughs> I've made too many mistakes. I am terrible with money. I can't be trusted. Those are the kinds of messages that you send yourself when you keep that number low, which then you've used to serve yourself in some manner. (sighs) Just say thank you to the whole system for serving you in some manner. And now let's just shift into, if you'd like to go with me to the being the very best top number, you don't have to, it's not official. But I want to take myself there. So if you want to come with me, that's cool. If not, just use any numbers in your head that work for you or that work for you. And I'm just going to see now the credit being around 800, 820, which again is almost impossible. And I'm just going to see it done as if it were done, as if the credit were done. It's now, say, September and my credit, say, at the top of its game. It's just kicking ass. It's making all kinds of opportunities for rental properties available. It's making uh, loan rates low. It's making, you know, future opportunities crushing me, (laughs) crushing me. Interesting, right? Crushing future opportunities with so much openness, so much space and so much light. Let's just see that number just go up and then see it go up and just see the thermometer and take it all the way up to just 100% of your capacity for you, for whatever that is. And I, I don't, again, care what your number is or what my number is. I think what's important is that you are doing this and having fun with it and seeing that you can alter your reality with this fun tool of thermometer, which you just raise it up in your mind's eye. And then anything that got twisted or crazy in this, oh, wow. And I'm seeing myself, I'm sitting in Santa Barbara and this is years back and I was a news reporter and I got my first like well-paying newspaper job. It was a union job and I was making a lot of money for 19, whatever, it was so long ago. And I was, I was writing for a living and I lived in this place with a view. It was a canyon. It was so beautiful. It was called the Riviera. And I had a view and I was three minutes to my office in downtown Santa Barbara and beautiful place. And I had gotten all this credit when I, when my, when I got the raise, I must've qualified and I got sent all these credit cards and being a young (laughs) vibrant 20 something being, I used the credit cards just like, and all of a sudden they all started calling me because I wasn't paying them on time and I got too much. And I had this stack of credit cards and my phone was ringing. It was an actual phone. It was just ringing like crazy with these creditors saying, hey, pay me, pay me, pay me. And I, I remember just sitting there like completely like what happened? Like my cluelessness even escapes me now. <laughs> I look at how clueless I've been. And I remember calling my mom and I'm like, mom, they keep calling me. I don't know what to do. And so first of all, she's like, cut up the cards. <laughs> cut, 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 cut. She just cut up the cards. And then she goes, just, just contact each one and tell them what you can pay. She's like, tell them what you can pay. And so I was like, okay. So I like got on these because they can't actually say no. So if you owe 8,000, you pay like $10 a month. They can't say no. If you offer a payment plan at that time, they couldn't say no to it. So I put them all on these little payment plans of like, I think it was like $15 a month. My student loan at UC Davis, I put on like $15 a month, which is paid off right now, millions of years later. And so just, just go into what's possible to get in good standing on your terms and clearing that out, clearing that out, clearing that out. Oh. Wow, that. And now just invite in a new system that brings that thermometer up into the stratosphere and just sees it as excellent, 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 excellent. If that's your if that's your desire, if it isn't, don't you know, don't listen to the rest. <laughs> but if you wanted to have it shift. You don't have to actually do anything to start. First, you just see it done. 
Yeah, go ahead and embrace it done. Invite in the new thing. And now let's do a little clearing because what I'm perceiving is some icky stuff in the third chakra that gets stuck around um, your value, which is infinite, and some number. And no number can actually ever match the insane beauty of you. Like no number can actually ever even contain you. <laughs> You're way beyond any number. There's no number of anything that could actually contain your beauty or your massive amazingness. Like nothing can hold that in. And so these numbers are fake. Not saying they're not a measure of something, right? And so now we just want to release whatever's stuck and I'm seeing it in the solar plexus. So never know if this is for me or for someone who's listening. I never know. Could be me, could be you. Look at that third chakra space, which is right below your breasts and it's in your solar plexus area. It operates at a yellow vibration. And anything crazy that got stuck in there and that got pushed down, I just want you to release. There you go. And now let's go back to your credit number and the thermometer. And let's just shift it up again and shift it up again. And then ask for things you can do towards this. What can you do towards this? So if anyone's bugging you or calling you with a credit call, you can put them into some kind of payment plan that doesn't hurt you, that is easy for you, whatever that is, even if it's like $10 a month or something, $5 a month, something. Agree to send them something. There you go. Or you don't even have to get into an agreement. Just start sending them little bits. There's nothing that if you're sending them money, then you're doing your part, even if it's a little bit. So go ahead and see that all into alignment. Very nice. Beautiful. Ah. Thank you so much for listening. This is a crazy meditation call. I, it was really kind of all over there. I'm still going to publish it though, because maybe someone will benefit and we're not done. We're never done. <laughs> as long as we're breathing, we're not done. Thank you for listening to all my crazy. I really appreciate you today. Uh, see if this can change anything for you. And it's, again, it's not done, but you can make improvements in where, from wherever you are to wherever you want to be. That's my, that's my message for you today. Thank you.